<laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Hardcore Survival. Right. So for this week I've got a couple things that I'd like to get done so we can kind of progress a bit. First things first, I'd like to get some iron. I need a first set of armor and I'd like to get a compass made so I can start doing some traveling. Just want to go ahead and farm up the crops we already got going. So you just can keep on while we're down in the mine. How are y'all doing today? Y'all having, having a good, good grand old time? Stand inside, having fun. I definitely have been. That's like the one that I got the best at. <laughs> but after playing the Black Warfare, Black Ops 3, it's that one's so much more stressful than the other ones. Like it's got a much more horror tone to it than I mean, ob obviously Infinite Warfare was kind of a goofy zombies, but it's very well made in my opinion. Like the preface of it, it's like f like. I like the story, Willard Wyler and all that stuff, and I like just the gameplay, but obviously it's not meant to be super serious, but freaking, and you, you have like Black Ops, Black Ops 4, all the like Aether and Chaos stuff, like that's, it's serious, but it's also still kind of fun, like they have a lot of jokes that they toss around in those games, and um... It's a lot more mystery and like magic than it's supposed to be horror. But freaking World War II is just all like straight, just like jump stairs left and right. Everything's supposed to look grotesque. I don't know. Definitely more scary. Actually, you know what? Um, I'd say we're just gonna look for iron right now, but when we come back, I'm gonna clean up this little strip mine. Put some stairs down, clean up the, the top bit. Okay. So I've been playing some zombies. Uh, uh, older brother plays a lot of Warframe. <laughs> Me and some friends in Discord, we started playing a good bit of Warframe lately. I'm enjoying it. I like the, the gameplay loop of it a little bit. I'm gonna do this. And we start our ship mine. Huh. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it one more above, so I don't just have bits of bedrock everywhere. Let's go right here. And pretty much just what I do, I just dig out this like um, too wide, too high hole all the way forward. Just mine everything that I see that isn't prop, that isn't coal. I mean, I might still mine the coal just to not have to get as much charcoal. I'm gonna go ahead and do that actually. What the? Oh. Kind of scared me a little bit. But yeah. Lots of digging. Like I said, the goal right now is I want to get a full set of iron armor. I want to get uh, a compass set up so I can start looking for a village or some other like 
Just buy them, that would be nice. Um, once we get a village, like, that's when the game really picks up. Because then you can start doing trading, you can get literal, you can literally turn carrots and potatoes into diamonds, it's insane. Ever since the 1.15 update, when they, like, just overhauled villagers, it's, it's crazy. That's probably my favorite, ooh, redstone. That's probably my favorite thing about Minecraft now, is just the villagers. I love leveling them up and getting a bunch of emeralds and just the how many things they made infinite in this game because of the villager update is crazy and when it comes to survival games like minecraft i really like when things are infinite i don't like stuff being i guess non-renewable i just, just want to use stuff i want to just want to be able to I like making iron like material like tools and stuff and not feel like I'm wasting anything. I, I don't know. I like I like renewable everything. Plus like with games like Minecraft you're meant to make massive structures and like you're meant to get creative with it. And of course there's creative mode, which is meant for massive structures and stuff, but people people like doing that survival too, like you play for so long, like you want to be able to use stuff, and I feel like if everything is an infinite, then it kind of hinders a lot of, one, creativity for what you can make, and two, just like, I don't know, playability? I guess you're meant to play multiple worlds, I don't know. It'd be kind of neat if, um, like, maybe they could do, god dang keep hearing all these stupid monster sounds. Yep, I'm good. Or they could do kind of like a Terraria thing to where like you could bring stuff from other worlds you've made. But although I guess if you just kind of... I mean there's ways to break that but I'm sure there's ways to break everything about video games. Like you could just know a lot about a certain seed. Oh, Iron! Yeah! You could... Like, say you watch someone else play a specific seed, you know exactly where some diamonds are or whatever, but, I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's plenty of exploits for a lot of different things in Minecraft. But honestly, I, like, I don't know. I guess it doesn't super matter if everything's renewable, but it's nice to have a lot. So, how much is that? Seven. I need... Eight for the chest piece, seven for the pants, and four for the boots. And I need three for a pickaxe to get the redstone to get four more for a compass. Okay. So at this point, that's 11, that's 19, 22, and then 20, so I need 26 iron so I can start doing a lot more stuff. Alright, sick. So yeah, probably isn't the most entertaining of gameplay right now, but we on them topics, I'll tell you what. I say, and then I immediately go quiet. Top notch. Haha, <laughs> notch, because it's Minecraft, get it? Lots of zombies. Everyone excited for the Call of Duty 2020? There's been lots of talk about it. It's, it's apparently, it's supposed to be Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, which I'm excited. I always like the Treyarch Call of Duties. I used to think they're the best of all the Call of Duties, and I have the fondest memories with them. But honestly, going back through and seeing a lot of the Call of Duties. I, I, I don't know if I can really say that Treyarchs are, like, the best. Like, obviously, lately, Modern Warfare is just so good. 
even um, Activision themselves have said they're prepared and they know that Call of Duty 2020 is just not going to be as good as Modern Warfare. Oops, not the axe. Which I think is funny, but also kind of sad. Like, you gotta, you, you kind of want to make sure it's better. I don't know. Like, I feel like Modern Warfare just did a really good job with their, I guess, business standpoint. It's where they really did go for a um, player-oriented like progression system. Like all the maps they've come out have been free. There's not been like four DLCs in a season pass, which I mean, I never exactly minded, but it's nice not to have to buy. You got the battle pass, which I think is uh, which I think is one of the. Oh, really? You're just gonna have iron right next to it? okay. Which I think is one of the best battle passes I've seen. And video games like uh, oh you know what this let me let me go over here it's a little, it's a little scuffed but let me just because there's, there's stuff that's free and I know there's a lot of battle passes that have like a free side and a paid side but um they also add like new guns which is good when everyone can get them for free. Games in the past, like Black Ops 3, uh, War 2, you could, you, they'd add new guns, which is great. Like, But you'd either have to like get them from a pack, some, some kind of random thing that you could pay money for, or like, or they'd be seasonal events where once the season was over, it was like a lot harder to get them. Or like, you could get them for free during the season, but you couldn't get them for free after the season, which is just really bad. Okay, so I'm at 20. I need, I need 26, right? I need actually five more. Okay. Um, I think I'm just gonna kinda, let me check what's under here. Okay. I'm just gonna keep kinda going down this path. I'm gonna clean this up a bit. So the transition's a little easier. Fill this stuff in. I think we're good. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna keep looking for iron. Um, yeah, Call of Duty. I like how you get. They have two new weapons with every battle pass, and I, I, I'm on the same point that I don't think every game needs a battle pass, but some some games just do it better. Um, but yeah, they had two new weapons every battle pass. And you can get them in the battle pass for free. You just you just play the game. You're gonna get the battle pass, like most battle passes. And then, um, but once that season over, once the like season that the battle pass is over, they just put in like a challenge in the game. Like um, for one of the LMGs, it's like you have to get two long shot kills with with an LMG in this many matches, and then you, you get the gun. So every, everyone has access to the gun. Like no matter what season they play, like when they play, like it doesn't matter. And that's, I think that's really good. Being able, it's actually more fun that way. Like I don't, I understand like loot boxes have, like they're a big thing a couple years ago. You know, all watches too popular. And that was just all of watches, but you could you get loot boxes for free. You could buy them, which is I feel like that's okay. Like you didn't have to buy them, but it's always like you're kind of uh, okay. That's all my pick. So I gotta go back up. I'll go ahead and start smelting some iron while I get up there. Oh, it's nighttime, so that's it's kind of let's sleep real quick. Um, dang it, I keep like forgetting what I'm talking about. In the loot boxes. And I also need to make some more torches, which I got that coal. Okay, so it's really good I got that coal. Kind of forgot about that. Um, oh, I don't have to pick up stuff. Okay, I'm self mine that. The loot boxes. 
I don't mind them when you can get them for free. And of course, I don't mind them when you can, like, like Overwatch, it had loot boxes to where there are, season, there are seasonal ones that had specific items you can only get in, like, a holiday or whatever. But, and that was fine because the those, like, see, like the holiday ones always came back around and you could always get the older ones uh, from the newer boxes. Okay, we gotta be careful right now. There's monsters, so we gotta make sure there's no creepers about. Oh, you're really just gonna. Last thing I wanna hear is that hiss right behind me. Okay, should we? Oh, really? Whatever, he's not gonna hurt anyone down there. But yeah. But like World War Two, you have know, seasonal stuff that you. I I don't. I honestly, to be fair, I never actually played a holiday event after the first time, because you know, I mean, most Call of Duty is it's, it's you have it, they have their year and the new one comes out and then they're kind of depending on how good the new one is, the servers for the old one are kind of dead. Which I mean, that's fine. Like I'd. Some people might not like that, I guess, ideology for games where it's just the same thing every year, but I, I don't know. To me, it's like I, I get more good, like you get, I, it's just a, a thing that works, and if you get more of it every year, I'm kind of okay with that. As long as they make sure it works and it's not... A ton of microtransactions, or gameplay is bad, or I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> for all the people out there who play Call of Duty on Black Ops 4 launch, I remember the the dual wielding Sogs. That is, oh, I like that stuff like that. that doesn't, oh, I should probably get a pressure. Let me do that real quick. So like that doesn't like balancing is important but I wouldn't say it makes or breaks a game um, especially if it's a, a chapter or I don't remember fresh boom oh that's a lot less there we go <laughs> I mean of course balancing is important I don't want to play an unbalanced game but at the same time if it's a game I really like, I can deal with bad balancing for a, a little bit. I'm not just gonna keep banging my head against the game if they never fix stuff. But, like, they, 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 they nerfed the SOGs fairly, or like, decently soon enough. Which is, it, I think it was really cool. Okay, we still gotta make sure there's no... I don't... I feel like anything that was monster-related probably despawned by now, but I need to make sure. Alright, so let's get some more pickaxe, some more torches. I'm gonna go ahead and wait a little bit for these to melt. Melt, wow. Smelt. So I can use it for armor and stuff. Just, just extra protection. This is hardcore, and, well, yeah, this is the first run and it's it's probably the least likely to be the one that we went on and we it's I'm gonna try. Uh I know sixteen is a full stack. But let's go to yeah, let's just go. Oh crap. What a lever. I think also something we might look for, we might look into for this episode, or well, I guess this week, is upgrading the house because I'm starting to get more things, which means I need more storage, which means I need more space. I, 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 I think I have a. Well, that's unfortunate.
I've never had this much trouble with a pressure plate in a car before. Well, it's gonna be uneven, but let's do this. <laughs> 